Alright, what's up everyone? Suka Finder here and today we're going to be playing some more A Killing A Floor 2. But yeah, I'm going to be playing today the worst map in my opinion on some multiplayer. Now, we did play this one game back and yeah, this is what happened. <laughs> yeah, boy. Yeah, pretty much oof. But yeah, this time I guess we can just go and do something magical, hopefully, maybe. I mean, fair enough for like only four people, but... I mean, this map just doesn't even care. But yeah, I'm going to be playing my Demolitionist for today because this is my favorite perk to play, just regardless. I mean, fair enough, a lot of people hate the demo for some reason because, I mean, blah blah blah, no skill cap or something stupid like that, but... I mean, the demo, it's just enjoyable and satisfying to play and if you want to talk skill... Yeah, Killing Floor is... Wait, what the... Okay, someone just died in the first three seconds. Well then, free things to sell and, you know, buy some other things with. Nice, that's going to be fun. But yeah, the descent, why do I hate it? Well, pretty much... I mean, the new Hell on Earth. I mean, it was kind of, like, needed for, like, the other maps, but yeah, they kind of forgot about, you know, the descent. Yeah, now this map is completely team-dependent, so if your team is going to be bad, yeah, you're going to be losing 100%, because even if you are alone... Yeah, you can do jack shit because the rooms are just a little bit too small. So yeah, hopefully this time around we're going to be doing something, but we're off to a bad start because someone is already kaput. Okay, right, here she's gonna like step on you because I can't be bothered and let's just go and quickly kill you. Perfect. Got him good. Okay, second room, fingers crossed. Okay, it's going to be this one, so it's not like that bad. But yeah, if we get that lava room on the fourth wave, yeah, we're most likely going to get our asses whooped. So hopefully that's not going to be the case. And here we go, wave two out of four, and someone else just joined, but thank god he didn't join in right now. But yeah, man, fair enough, this map is, you know, harder than other maps, but I just don't like maps that depend on your team. Because obviously if you're going to be playing solo, it's going to be like piss easy to complete like anyway. I mean, I've just done it with just a knife. But yeah, on multiplayer, since there's like a lot more Z spawning, and if someone just makes like a mistake or something, yeah, your whole team is going to suffer, and that results in everyone just like dying. Well then, time to get absolutely demolished, and why the hell are you here, stupid ass elves? I'm gonna have to nuke your ass now. But yeah, like I was saying before, people actually hate the demo because... I mean, apparently there's not like that much skill to it, but... I mean, talking skill in Killing Floor 2 is pretty much... Yeah, I, I would consider thinking about that one. Okay, right, here is get off my stairs, and that's a freaking husk that I don't want any part of. Oh, he's like burning my team, that's not good. Okay, at least I headshotted him though, nice. Oh, nuke time. Exactly what we need. Oh, that didn't work. But yeah, the only upside to this map is that waves go a little bit fast. Because there's just, you know, this like one freaking room, and that's pretty much it. Okay, two dudes left, one's going to be a right here, but apparently both of them just died. Nice. Okay, room. Oh, this one. Oh, Jesus Christ. But yeah, this room and that lava one, yeah, those two are like the worst ones you can possibly get. Well then, time for some M32 action, and let's see what we can actually do. I mean, I could have just like upgraded, you know, the HX, but... Nah, man. But yeah, the perks on the team are pretty good. I mean, we're like missing like a support, but... I mean, for the most part, this should be GG. But yeah, on this map, you don't really need to play a SWAT, a survivalist, a sharpshooter, a gunslinger, because... Yeah, you're not really going to have much opportunity with them. I mean, maybe the gunslinger can have some opportunity, but... Anything else? Yeah, not really. Oh, that was a nook, nice. Oh, that's why I like the M32. Just so good. Okay, now we're going to be getting some flash pounds, and there's like things coming from behind, which is never good. Okay, should I just like stay behind and just like kill him? I mean, most likely I should, but I guess we'll see. But yeah, for any of you asking why do I like shoot multiple times in slow motion, yeah, that's because I have nukes, and nukes are, how should I say, beneficial to the team, if that makes any sense. Okay, just get stunned. Didn't even get stunned, so I'm just gonna have to like nuke him three times, and there he goes. Rest in pieces. Okay, that's not gonna be good. Okay, stupid ourselves. And this guy. Okay, the berserker is near enough dead. Why are you dead? But at least I'm like nuking some things. Oh, that's a whole freaking lot of them. Well, then only AD left, and hopefully we're going to be doing this room without any major issues. I mean, hopefully. Okay, nuke again. Oh, there we go. Nice. Got two nukes from that one. Okay, what the hell shot me there? I, mean, I just hate this shit, man. Okay, that's going to be another Skrake. Let's just go and quickly stun him. Maybe headshot him just a little bit. There we go. I mean, the M32, it's good. But is it better than the RPG? That's like the biggest question on my mind. 
I mean, it's better for nukes, there's like no doubt about that one, but is it good for like raw damage? I mean, I don't think so. Okay, now I need to like reload the shit. And there's like some shit behind us. Well then, five dudes left, one's going to be a freaking deer. Okay, he's not even dead, nice. But the firebug got him in the end. Oh, and now we're going to be having this room for the final one, and are we gonna win? Yeah, I guess we'll see on that one. But yeah, since I have like so much freaking dosh, I guess I can just like throw that on the floor and get myself the RPG. But yeah, like I said, RPG, it's better for like raw damage and just like flesh pound killing, but the M32 is better for, you know, trash killing. So yeah, let's see what we can actually do. But yeah, it hasn't even been like 10 minutes and we're already on wave 4, which is kind of like fast for multiplayer. Well then, already off to a fantastic start and we're getting some flesh pounds from unknown directions. Oh, there they are. Nice. <laughs> But they're probably- oh, I just completely failed that, you know, reload cancel, which is not appreciated in the slightest. Oh, that's some dudes. Okay, I just need to, like, focus on, you know, flesh bones and shit like that. Maybe, like, some scrakes here and there. Maybe, possibly. Oh, how did- Okay, I just hate multiplayer sometimes because usually, yeah, the things don't even get stunned. Okay, Scrake, what the hell are actual plans? Get absolutely killed, and there is a bunch of things over there. Okay, we're still getting, like, a little bit more flesh bones, which is never go- Oh, please, no. Husks, just go away. Oh, and there we have a little bit more flesh bones. But are they dead, though? Okay, they are. Nice. Yeah, then good. But yeah, like I said, I do play the demo for, like, both, you know, roles, you know, trash killing and Big Z killing. Because it's kind of like needed at this point. Oh, and I'm out of the RPG, so M32 time. Well, that's a bunch of them. Get killed. But yeah, fair enough, the M32 is not like the most practical thing for flesh pounds. But I mean, it still works. It does like a lot of damage. Okay, let's just get this like one grenade from this dude. And hopefully the berserker is going to be killing that scrake. Okay, I just killed him. Completely fine with that. Oh, that's a bunch of flesh pounds. Okay, spam everything I have, because that's what you're supposed to do, and I got them both. I do believe. Oh, nook time. There we go. But yeah, man, for the boss, yeah, I'm not going to be the demolitionist, because it just doesn't work for bosses. Like, any boss for that matter, so I'm just going to be changing into something a little bit more OP. Which is going to be the Berserker. But then, five dudes left, let's just go and quickly nook some things, because I can, and that was not even a single nook. I mean, what the hell is this game, man? Okay, right here, let's just go and quickly kill you, and that was this wave completed. Well, then let's just go sell this, sell that, and change into the Berserker. But yeah, with the Berserker, if it's going to be the Abomination, yeah, the bad lax is going to be pretty useless. Because for the Abomination, yeah, you have to pick something that is, you know, at range. But if it's going to be like Han, Patriarch, or the King Fleshbound, yeah, you can just use the bad lax. Oh. Here we go, easiest boss in the game. I mean, second to easiest. Well then, the only thing that's going to be bothering us are going to be the quarter pounds, but I mean, you can just like chop them easily here, hopefully. Okay, what the hell are you doing? Okay, I don't even know where the hell I am, but this guy is a quartering me. Well then, I guess I'm just going to be the quarter pound killer because I have like nothing better to do. Okay, there we go, got two of them, nice. Okay, where's he at? But yeah, you might think that, you know, the demolitionist is good for the king flesh pound, but in reality, yeah, it's not all that great. Oh, he's doing his fidget spinner now. <laughs> what you doing? I mean, fair enough, when he does, like, his rage thing, you shouldn't be standing near him because you're going to get, like, your ass whooped. What's he doing? Okay, King Fleshbound, what the hell are your actual priorities? Oh, and he's doing that stupid ass attack. I just hate it. But yeah, I mean, they just had to, like, add those, you know, explosions once he rages because otherwise... Yeah, he would be the worst boss in the game because with the Berserker, you can just, you know, circle him and just parry him and chop him. And then quarter pounds, let's just go and quickly kill you, and there is the boss himself. Oh, he's doing the rage, and now he's going after me. Should I care, though? Probably not. But yeah, man, on this map, the only hard boss is, I don't know, like, the Abomination, maybe? Because it's just, like, a small freaking area, I guess. Oh, he's gonna do the rage. Or maybe not. Okay, I'm just gonna, like, parry him, because why not? Just get, like, all of his attention, pretty much. <laughs> Nope, oh, someone just got annihilated for whatever reason. Don't worry, man. Okay, this guy, it's just, like, annoying, if nothing else. Because of his, like, shield phase and shit like that. But, I mean, if he didn't have the shield, then what the hell would this guy even be? Just, like, a normal Z, pretty much. I mean, if this guy didn't have a shield, he would just, like, fit right into, you know, normal play. Just as a huge freaking flesh pound. Well, then, there goes his shield, and now we're just gonna go and quickly kill him. 
most likely. Oh, he's doing the most useless attack. I mean, what's he doing? Okay, King Flash Bond, let's just go and quickly EMP you up because I have nothing better to do. Oh, he's doing some attacks. Oh! <gasps> I mean, he got annihilated, not by me though. And why is this considered as like the most useless map in my opinion? I mean, you pretty much saw one mistake and yeah, your whole team just evaporates. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe and see you guys next episode. Adios.